in this video i want to introduce you the new model element of element team here is called model dialog it will be, it will be available in element team version 1.0.7 here let me show you in action here this is the model model element okay let me show you from the start here let me drag and draw the element here here this is the model element by default uh, it's shown as a button so you can use as a button here like this or as or as text yeah, like this text link or as icon like I shown here here yeah, this is for the button trigger you can use as a text link here like this or as, by default as a button or icon here like this for yeah, to use as icon users have to paste the phone item phone or some icon code here in the title area okay and for the model trigger here is left alignment right alignment options um, but for tablet and mobile uh, are available too and this is the padding and border type model close model close is for this design this is the uh, close button yeah yeah, yeah you, you can uh, design the x and y coordinate coordinate location of this close button here yeah. you have padding option border radius option to designing uh, and a pop-up window you can uh, you can choose the content tab short code or widget uh, editor and max maximum wide of the model window you can uh, adjust it by default it is 600 pixel you can uh, increase or reduce the size and uh, height of the model window is uh, inherited from the content let's say for this one i uh, for the embed code of this youtube video the height, uh, height is 300 pixels so model window height is also 300 pixel and a content alignment left right center by default it is center padding border radius for and for the content area there is a uh, one called title of uh, heading and the second one is power content First one is just simple text area, and second is widget editor. Mm. And power window, let's use short shortcut. And you won't see the heading area, just you will see only a shortcut pasting area. Now let's use the widget editor. And let's go to style here yeah, th this color is for this button trigger button and this background is for trigger button background and you can uh, set as image as background okay and model close this is for the close button design for this design you can change the color you can set back gradient background or simple plain background color and this model window and first uh, background is for the this overlay background overlay color and second background is for this uh, model window background and model content and uh, this is for the uh, widget editor 
content color by default is white but you can change it for heading and text color if you use short code method yeah, you need this styling option yeah so this is uh, this is uh, about uh, this is much about the model element here in the pop up window i skip something that is pop up effect by default it is pop out and wobble here let me show you pop out and wobble and you can change to pop in pop out there are three effects available for now let's change to pop out and let's set up uh, at the in the this widget editor widget editor you you can add text or any type of content because you can paste HTML code here so this is it let's refresh this page and view it here it is this is model heading and this is this is it so uh, let's remove this heading and background color for the background you have to go to model window here reduce the model window background opacity to zero and go to content power heading delete this default title and heading and set the padding to zero click save and refresh now let's try here here uh, the content area is here no more white background but but the um, the close button is far off from the model window to fix that power window padding zero okay save here we go in a video more pop up uh, we don't uh, need the white background or any type of background zero padding is necessary to look it neat and clean for video pop-up however for other types of these pop-ups you need the background so by default there is some set paddings uh, if you want to use uh, if you want zero padding then you have to remove the paddings this is it and this will be available soon in the new update uh, that will be releasing next week and uh, i hope uh, this will be a very useful element and element team users will be available by the next update and if you have any questions regarding this model window or any element team or element related feel free to contact me by initiating a live chat at my website pacemedia.org or our website elementaheroes.com thanks for watching again